Hey guys! So today's video is actually something that I filmed a couple of weeks ago whilst I was away in Spain and I decided to film a summer morning routine whilst I was on holiday and that is what today's video is gonna be. I thought I would film my morning routine whilst I was on holiday just to make it a little bit different because in reality my summer morning routine back at home is the same as my morning routine all year round because I don't get a summer holiday, I work a full time job so I don't get a holiday with that so I thought I would do something a little bit different but yeah this is my vacation holiday summer morning routine in Spain and I really hope you enjoy it. Let's just get on with it now! So of course I start my morning off in bed asleep and here I am waking up and rubbing my eyes and looking really happy because I'm on holiday and that's exciting. Then I just look to my right and I see that my boyfriend is still asleep and I'm like nah you gotta wake up otherwise he would probably sleep all day long so here I am really nicely waking him up. Then I just open my curtains because the view was so lovely whilst we were on holiday and I'm really missing it whilst looking at this right now. So the first thing I do when I wake up is go downstairs and eat some breakfast because I'm always hungry and I want to eat food when I wake up so that's what I'm going to go and do, yay. So I'm just going to have a look inside my fridge and see what I can have and today I'm just going to grab a can of San Miguel for breakfast, I'm joking that's not mine, I don't like beer. <laughs> so I'm just grabbing a watermelon because I thought I would have that because I am oh so healthy, yeah definitely. In reality though I'd already eaten my breakfast before I started filming and I'd had a big old unhealthy chocolate croissant so there we go, there's the reality behind it. Because of that I wasn't that hungry so I thought I'd just have some watermelon for the video. So here I am just taking it outside because I thought it would be nice to eat it out there and enjoy the nice weather so that's what I'm doing here. Here I am eating chunks of watermelon, what an exciting video, yay! And then I'm going to grab a glass of water because it's always important to stay hydrated and how cute are these drawers? They are so cute, they have fruit on them, so I had to use one of them because it's just so cute. Now I'm heading back upstairs to go to the bathroom because it's time to do my skincare and stuff like that. So, oh, first of all, I'm brushing my teeth because you know, you gotta brush your teeth. So as for my skincare, I'm taking the Garnier Micellar Water and wiping that over my face with a cotton pad to get rid of any dirt or sweat. That's disgusting, but it's true. Then I'm taking this Neutrogena Visibly Clear Pink Grapefruit Facial Wash and washing my face with it to make it even cleaner and yay. Then I'm just taking the Simple Moisturiser that I use all the time. Yep, still got it. It's still going strong, still loving it. So I'm just using that to moisturise my skin and then it's time to head down to the swimming pool because I think that counts as exercise, doesn't it? You know, going in the pool. The pool was always so cold in the morning, so I was actually freezing when I put my feet in and I was thinking, should I really do this? But I did. So here I am in the swimming pool and as you can see, there's not a huge amount of swimming going on. I'm mainly just sitting there or lying there or just waving at a camera whilst having my arms on a lilo. Very productive. Great exercise, Sophie. Well done. <music> So once I'm out the pool it's time to head into the shower and these are the products that I used. So I'm using the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Shampoo to clean my hair and then I'm using the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Conditioner and then the Soap and Glory Clean On Me Body Wash to clean my body. So now it's time to dry my hair which in a hot country is really horrible and I literally melted because the hair dryer was hot and I was already boiling and it, it wasn't good. So I kept going until my hair was almost dry but still a little bit damp and at this point I put some Tony and Guy Sea Salt Spray into my hair to add a bit of texture so I'm just spritzing it in now and then I'm just gonna scrunch it up to give my hair some texture because we like that and then I'm just gonna keep drying it until it's completely dry and then it's time to move on to do my makeup Woo. so first I'm using this bourgeois 123 perfect CC cream I didn't really wear much makeup on holiday to be honest I only wore it if we were going somewhere in particular so today we were off out for lunch so I thought I'd put a little bit of makeup on but in reality I didn't really wear makeup on holiday and I kept it really really natural when I did so I'm just doing my usual base makeup concealer and powder and then I used this bourgeois chocolate bronzer as well which I was using for the first time and I really really liked it so that was good then I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara on my top lashes and you guessed it on my bottom lashes I'm using my Clinique bottom lash mascara surprise surprise 
Then I just used a bit of Benefits Gimme Brow on my eyebrows, just like I always do. My makeup routine is so obvious and typical. And then this Bourjois Colour Boost lipstick on my lips in the shade Peach on the Beach, and this is such a lovely summer colour. So that's my makeup done. I told you it was pretty simple, but I'm on holiday, so I can't really be bothered to make an effort. So I then made sure to put a bit of suntan lotion on so I don't get sunburnt and this is the outfit I wore on this particular day. These are actually some clips from my summer lookbook so if you'd like to see the rest of the outfits from my holiday be sure to go and watch that. I will leave it linked below and you can go and watch it and see what other things I wore. So that was pretty much my summer morning routine whilst I was on holiday. Give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Go on, give it a thummy. Get, ooh, that sounds weird. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye! Oh, that didn't sound too good. Bye!